Today we're going to see how long a 20 volt DeWalt battery lasts on a 12 volt razor. All right, let's get to it. First step, we're going to remove these covers. So the next step is we're going to try to put this adapter on here. This is our homemade one. And if you want to see how to build one of these, we have a video on that. So just check the channel. So I think we did mount that there. Okay, so in order to get this to fit here, we thought about 3D printing a little bit larger base that this would fit onto because we didn't necessarily design this for this. Um, that's going to take about three hours with the 3D printer we have. So real quick, I'm going to cut a piece of metal, cut this little ear off, and I'm going to weld this on. We should be able to do that pretty quick. Okay, so we'll mark this piece. Close enough. Weld it on. We have the cheap Harbor Freight welder here, and hopefully it'll do the job. So we're going to mark the holes here. We're going to use the center punch to get a pilot started for a drill bit. Okay, we're going to snip off the original connector here off the battery and then we're going to attach it to our adapter here. So, strip these. Cut this down to size. And we do have solid core wire here. Uh, that's just what I had laying around. So that's what we're gonna use. All right. bolt this up. Plug the power connector in and let's slap one of these 20 volts in there and see how long she lasts. Okay, it lights up. Sounds faster. Let's go try it out. All right, let's see how long this thing lasts.
Okay, well, this DeWalt 20 volt battery hasn't burned it up so far. We're at about 30 minutes, so I don't know, we'll keep you updated. If it burns up pretty quick, then we'll probably do a video on replacing this controller with a higher voltage one to make it last longer. But for now, it works.